Hello, my delicious co-creators. Lido here. I'm in Holland, in a town that I still cannot say the name of, which is... Bodegraven. Borhaven. I just did it. Uh, and this is uh, south of Amsterdam, about 15 minutes or so. I'm with Christine. I just interviewed her husband. Uh, and we spoke about the Cabal. And now uh, I would love to interview you because you are you wrote many, many books. You're a journalist. You wrote eight books um, all about the feminine power and who am I? Who am I in love? All of those wonderful topics. So I'm excited. Thank you for accepting to do this interview in English. Thank you so much. I'm very excited to, to have you here. So uh, thank you and uh, welcome here in the Bodegraven. Thank you. Thank you. And um, I read uh, on the site, thanks to Google Translate, that you're um it's really your soulmate and you saw him your your husband as your soulmate can you t can we start this conversation by saying by you telling us how what is your vision of a soulmate what is a soulmate i think the soulmate is someone you recognize and your your higher goal i think so it's not all about the looks and of course it's supported as well but what is your main goal what do you really want in life and um then when you have that, it's not about little things, little irritations like the toothbrush and uh, where is it and uh, people throwing things around the house. Because when you really w know what you want in life, you go the same direction, then you have a great life. And I think that's most important uh, in love, mm. to, um, to know what you, what you want for yourself and where you are both heading. So it's like, uh, do, do you think it's uh, very important that the two people are walking towards the same direction and have the same understanding in life? Is that for you a condition of the soulmate or not? Uh, yes, but it's more like a, the, a higher goal. It's not like all the uh, little differences. It's normal that you have it. But when you only focus on the little differences, people can fight with each other and think, well, oh, we don't have a good life together. But I think when you skip all those little differences and when you agree with each other, we can disagree about a lot of things, then life is so much better. And I think, especially think for women, if women do what they really want to do in life, then I think their marriage will also be a, bit, a lot better. Mm -hmm. Because I think a lot of uh, women do the job they don't want and then they come home and they are tired and then their husband does something that they, they don't uh, want and their children are tiring them so i think especially women please do what you want in life and i know that your life and also the life of your family will be so much better mm. and for you it's very important that women come in their power huh? yes and i think when you first know what you want only then you can come in your power but if you um like well i don't really know if it's i just live my life and uh, oh whoops it's another year uh, fast and i don't know what i've been doing i think first when you know what you want in life and what your main goal is and then you can say from okay that's the things i don't want to do anymore and these are the things that i really want to do and i think uh, women have 30 different um roles they um uh, have for each other for themselves so when you choose five like being a great wife and a good mother and being passionate about your job and maybe two other things like a good friends and uh, uh, someone who uh, likes to invite people. When you have five goals in life and you skip the rest, I think then your life is uh, much better. Mm. Because when you want to do all things, in the end, you haven't done anything and your life is just uh, going along with you mm. instead of that you have uh, control over your life. Mm. What do you feel uh, women need to realize now or not need more of, but could come to a realization of? I think that uh, we have a very big role now in, in life, not only in our own uh, little life, but also in the world. When you see uh, there's every peer, uh, people are talking about an in economic crisis, but I think the crisis is more about... Um, uh, human, uh, who are who are we, and what do we really want mm -hmm. in life? And think when we uh, know that, then the economic crisis will be just uh, coming along uh, with us. But now we're only uh, focusing about uh, the money. But I think we have to uh, think about what is really important to us, and how do we want to be for ourselves, but also 
for our neighbors and also for the people in the other side of the world. And I think that is, I think, especially now for women, from, um, they say like I always, uh, I read, when Lehman Brothers was Lehman Sisters, there wouldn't be a crisis. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and it's uh, so, uh, it's, I have thought it was so funny, but I think, well, maybe when we just say, okay, let's kick some ass and okay, something, uh, things uh, didn't not go well I in life. And now it's up to us and let's make the world a better place. Yeah. But it's but I feel it's uh, also when you hear about the feminine energy or feminine power, it's also up to men also to wake up that that in them. It's not just women. I I feel it's less and less about women or men, but it's all together and it's letting the feminine it's, quality. Yeah, it's like the people power, of yeah. course. Yes, and I think, but uh, sometimes I want to wake up the women from okay, let's yeah. not sleep, let's go outside. Yeah. And I think a lot of men and also in in businesses they are uh, training themselves and also. So um, uh, let the feminine side of them um, grow and be there. And I think now uh, it's for the women also to be uh, like uh, men and uh, women as well. Uh, so uh, mm -hmm. to be a better person, I think. Yeah. Yeah. But not the woman uh, fighter, I guess, uh, just being the, f the... Because women has, uh, when they come into their power, I feel there's a lot of... Uh, is, is a loving force and it's strong but soft. Yeah. And very and creative and generous. Yes, and I think that is the real power. Yeah. Also, um, when you are loving and sweet, I think that's real strength. And uh, it's not about uh, women power that we have to uh, fight and uh, be against men. I think that's the old school. That's n it's yeah. not what's uh, what's about. It's, it's especially about being a good person and caring and all those things and also what they say about mothers like mothers are so sweet and so caring and I think that is their strength. Mm -hmm. How do you see the, the couple in all this and how important it is uh, to you to be in a couple to go through these times and, uh, and then put some things in place and move forward and create projects? Is that very important? You see that very important to be in love? Um, for me, love is very important. But before I met Geert, I was really the happy single. <laughs> I was like the sex in the city uh, in person. Uh, I was, oh, I thought, oh, when I meet a man, he has to be so great because my life is now so incredible. And he has to be like in top of that because how can life be better? But I know now when you can go through life really with a soulmate that you can accomplish so much more. And... Uh, I really um, think that a lot of people have so many demands about how um, their person should look like, how it should smell and things like that. But I think when you first grow yourself and know what you really want, I think then as a couple you go strong as well. Um. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, you're a mother yeah. since 2002 of this yeah. beautiful little blonde angel. Yeah. <laughs> How how did that change your life, and uh, what did that taught you about uh, life? Uh, I think that um, when I when she came into our lives, uh, a lot of things changed. Especially Geert uh, start uh, stopped with his theater, and he became a writer, something he really wanted to do. And also, I um, was thinking, um, oh, I can do so much uh, more in life, and I won't only not only look out for her, not only care for her, but I also was seeing other children in all parts of the world because as a journalist, I traveled a lot. And also when, when I was pregnant with her, I traveled all around the world and I saw all these mothers with their children and I thought, we all want the same in life. At the end, it's not about all the differences. It's all about what we... Um, combine what we have in common with each other mm -hmm. and that I, th I think that's what I um, she taught me and also um, uh, that I wanted uh, to, s to, be the, uh, to see the sunshine in life because um, a child really looks at the mother from oh how is she, she living and you can tell your child oh you have to do this and oh you have to do that but you don't have to tell anything mm -hmm. if you live the life you really want for your child then you're the biggest example they can uh, can get. So you don't really have to tell them, you have to live it uh, yourself. Mm -hmm. 
Beautiful, beautiful. And uh, what would be your, your recommendation? I, I would love to end this video on, on like uh, uh, what you're discovering right now, what you're going through, what you're coming to realize, because you, your journey is continuing to yes. evolve. Yeah, I think um, that you can see miracles every day in your life. And when you have a child, you see that child sees miracles all day long. Mm -hmm. When there is the sun is shining or there is rain, everything mm -hmm. is new to our child in the air. And I think there are so many miracles around us. Some big miracles. A friend of mine has um, um, had a disease and she needed a new kidney. And she was like, oh, I'm so um, afraid that I won't live uh, for a long time anymore. And she placed an ad in the newspaper, woman wants a kidney. And there was another woman here in Holland, and she wrote back, I want to give it to you. And they didn't know each other, but the woman who gave the kidney to her, they, um, she said, by giving to her, I got so uh, much more. So I think that is the big miracles in life, but there are so many little miracles, like uh, smiling uh, at someone in the street, yeah. and that can really change a day. And uh, I think that is what we all can do every day. Mm -hmm. If you just smile or really ask someone, how are you today? And listen to the answer. Mm -hmm. I think we can change the world uh, Everything. Beautiful. And and Holland, a little world about where you think Holland is on the on the spiritual level or on an in, uh, opening mind level or wh where is Holland at, you feel? I think um, Holland is, is uh, the land of the free and people want to know more and they are really eager to, to learn and to uh, meet other people. But there's also a, a lot of uh, cynicism. Uh, a lot of yeah, people, cynicism, yeah, yeah, they are like, oh, I don't know. And all these people with spirituality, you have to keep your feet on the ground. And I think it's good to keep your feet on the ground with your head into the clouds. I think then you have a much uh, better life. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Well, thank you for this moment. And uh, and uh, I love your, your, your joy and energy. And this was very delightful. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> it was great having you. <laughs> Much, much love, my delicious co-creators. And uh, next, I'm talking with a samurai. Very different, oh, yeah. but juicy. Yes, In the hand. Bye-bye. Much bye. love. <laughs>